language focus model verbs models of possibility in the present and the future and in the past in the present or the future we use can as we say some cars can use electric batteries we could run out of oil in the next 20 years but in the past we say I could have attended the party but he didn't invite me I did couldn't have scored the goal yesterday as he was injured models of ability in the present in the future and in the past in the present or the future we say we can score a goal we are able to score a goal we are capable of scoring a goal we have the ability to score or for scoring a goal and in the future we say we will be able to score a goal in the past we could score a goal we were able to score a goal we were capable of scoring a goal we had the ability to score or first score in a goal models of permission in the present or the future and in the past in the present or the future we say you can drive at the age of 17 you are allowed or permitted to drive at the age of 17 and we say you can't go out tomorrow you aren't allowed or permitted to go out tomorrow but in the past we say I could do what I wanted when I was a child I was allowed or permitted to do and complete your sentence I couldn't go out alone when I was a child I wasn't allowed or permitted to go out alone when I was a child given advice in the present or the future we use should or had better or ought to followed by the infinitive you should drive carefully you ought to drive carefully you'd better drive carefully or shouldn't had better not or ought not to you shouldn't stay up late at night you'd better not smoke heavily given advice in the past we use should have plus the past participle you should have visited your ill friend or shouldn't have plus the past participle you shouldn't have shouted at your mother study these synonyms carefully should plus the infinitive equals o2 had better I advise you to if I were you I'd it's advisable for somebody to do it's desirable for somebody to do it would be a great idea or a good idea to do you'd rather and it's a good thing too shouldn't plus the infinitive equals I advise you not to it's inadvisable for somebody to had better not it's undesirable for somebody to if I were you I wouldn't it wouldn't be a good idea to you'd rather not obligation and necessity to express obligation and necessity in the present we use must has to or have to Ali must attend the party he has to play the match I have to sleep early in the past we use had to I had to revise my lessons but in the future we use will have to I will have to study hard lack of necessity in the present we use needn't don't have to doesn't have to don't need to and doesn't need to she needn't play the match I don't have to buy a car 
She doesn't need to have a taxi. In the past, we used didn't have to, didn't need to, and needn't have plus the past participle. She didn't have to buy a new dress, and she needn't have bought a new dress. In the future, we use won't have to. She won't have to go to work tomorrow. Study the difference between. She didn't have to buy a new dress, and she needn't have bought a new dress. The first sentence means that it wasn't necessary and she didn't buy a new dress. But the second means it wasn't necessary but she bought a new dress. Prohibition We use must. We use mustn't to express prohibition. You mustn't park your car in a no parking area. You mustn't smoke in hospitals. Study these synonyms carefully. Mustn't equals, it's not allowed to, it's forbidden to, it's banned to, it's against the law to, it's prohibited to. Now, choose the correct answer. The space go out, that weather was too bad. Two. His face answers the questions. He was clever. 3. She space food, but she bought a re ready food. 4. Dina space the piano. 5. You can drive my car. You space to do so. Now, check your answers. They couldn't go out. The weather was too good, too bad. He could answer the questions. He was clever. She could have cooked food. But she bought ready food. Dina can play the piano. You can drive my car. You are allowed to do so. Rewrite the following sentences using the word in brackets to give the same meaning. I advise you not to eat so many sweets. Shouldn't. You shouldn't eat so many sweets. I advise you to go to the gym more often to keep fit. You should go to the gym more often to keep fit. You can't drive at more than 110 km per hour on the motorway. You mustn't drive more than 110 kilometers per hour on the motorway. It's inadvisable to take medicine without asking your doctor. You shouldn't take medicine without asking your doctor. It's necessary for us to be economical. We must be economical. Thanks for listening with Nafham. Learn easily and simply.